Mocking is when you create a fake version of an object. If you take a look at the main module, it sends an email to each employee by using send email. The send email function depends on an external service to send the actual email. Also, remember that the cost of sending email is not free. Sending actual emails can also slow down the speed of the test. Let's create a new file named test send email dot pi. We want to test the send email function. First, we need to import the function from email sender dot email import send email. We can put the test case in a class, class test send email test send email self. In the arrange phase of this test, we need an instance of the person class. Let's create the instance employee equals person. We need to import the person class from email sender dot models import person. Now we need to pass a couple of arguments. The name is a string, let's say Anas, and the email, let's provide a valid email, let's say mail.readway at gmail.com. Also, we can provide the title, engineer, and the phone, zero, followed by 10 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we have an instance of the person class. Now we can call the function. We need to pass the employee. Before we run this test, we want to mark the email service because we don't want a real email to be sent to the user in test mode. That means we need to mark this function. This method is responsible for sending an email to a user. To mock an object in PyTest, we can decide to use Mocker. This Mocker is a PyTest fixture which can be used to mock an object. First, we need to install PyTest mock. pip install PyTest mock. Let's put the library in the requirements file. I'm going to copy it. The version is 3.13.0. Now let's use it as a fixture in the test. Mocker from PyTest mock imports mock fixture. So the type of mocker is mock fixture. So we can say mocker.pash. Then we need to specify the location of what we want to mock. We want to mock this method, send transact email. Let's look for the location of this method, API instance. So this is the location of the method. Let's go back into the test. Now we can specify the location and the name of the method is this which is send transact email so we are creating a marked version of this actual method we can set this to a new variable mock send smtp email equals this so before we call the function we are marking a method used in the function before we run the test i want to print something on the screen Let's say response equals this. Then we can now print response. Response. Now let's run the test to see what happens. By test dash k, the name of the test 
As you can see, this now returns a mocked version. Let me format the document. The next step is to check if this method was called with the correct arguments. We can say mock send SMTP email dot assert. There is a couple of methods we can use. We are going to use assert called once to assert that the method was called once. We can also use assert called with, let's say, arguments equals the argument sent to the method. Let's take a look. So we pass an instance of send SMTP email to the method. Let's make use of that from sib.models.send SMTP email import send SMTP email, which is the class. The type of the argument is this. Then we can say mock send SMTP email dot call args to retrieve the arguments. The call args returns a tuple. Let's print that out. Print args arguments. Let's run the test again to see the outputs. As you can see, we have a tuple returned. So we can pick the first element at index 0. So we can see asserts arguments dot subjects. Let's look at the subject of the email, which is email from PyTest. And assert arguments dot to which is the receiver equals. Let's take a look at how the receiver looks like. To okay, we can make use of this. So we need the employee dot email. Now let's run the test again to see the outputs. Great, it works as expected. Now let's test the main module, which is this module. Let's create a new file called test main.py. First, we need to import the module for main. Import main. Now we can create the function def test underscore main. Let's check the main function. In the arrange phase for the main function, we need a file. Let's go back into the test. Remember that we already have a fixture for creating a valid file. Make valid CSV file. So we can make use of this fixture in the test. We can use the fixture by specifying it as a parameter. Main, we need to pass a file. Let's pass the make valid CSV file. If you take a look at this function, it also sends email. For each employee in the employees, send email. We need to mark the email service because we don't want an actual email to be sent to the user. So we can make use of mocker, mocker, then the type of mocker is from pytest mock import mock fixture. The type of mocker is mock fixture. I'm going to copy what we have in the send email. So let's copy this mock functionality. Before the actual function call, we want to mock the email service. Now we need the assert phase. Assert mock send email. Let's take a look at what we can assert. We can assert that 
This method is called twice. Let's go back to the test. Assert call count call count equals equals two because we have two employees in the CSV file. These two employees by test dash k and the name of the test. Great, it works as expected.